Now at 10, loved ones gather at a vigil tonight following a tragic crash where a four-year-old boy lost his life due to a drunk driving accident involving his mother last week. It is 10 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. Our Elise Haas was at that vigil tonight. She joins us live now to tell us much more. Elise, that had to be so heartbreaking. It's really hard to see everybody in so much pain because this crash cost Kingston Coston his life. It put his mother's future in question. And then it's also left the family to pick up the pieces and try as hard as they can to support each other through this trying time. Kingston Coston, a beautiful son, loving brother, and playful nephew, will be missed. He had the most amazing smile from the moment that he was born, and all he did was smile. He was always happy. His Aunt Jamil Manning says he was full of life, little but mighty. He loved Spider-Man, riding his bike, and having fun with his cousins, grandma, aunts and uncles, but especially his little sister, Renaya. They were inseparable. In the name of Jesus. And God, we're so careful to give your name the praise. Candles and condolences were shared at the site of the deadly crash at North Fessenden in Mohawk. Loved ones gathering to honor Kingston's four years of life at a vigil, decorated with balloons in his favorite colors, blue and white. We are doing a candlelight service to honor him and um, sending off balloons to him in heaven. Kingston's mother and Jamil's sister, Angelina Minor, is facing manslaughter charges after the deadly drunk driving crash. This tragedy, Jamil says, is taking a toll on the family. We're just hoping that we can give him the proper send off that he deserves. Um, he's an angel to us now. Jamil wants to take this moment to remind you how fragile life can be. Love each other and hold each other tight and cherish life because it's not promised. And his aunt was also telling us that all of the kids and teachers at his preschool have already shared just how much they miss him. His family right now is raising funds to have his funeral services. Reporting live in North Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. That's just so difficult to comprehend, but thank you for showing us these just heartfelt moments tonight. Elise, thank you.